uh, in the mix. Um, Go Shifta, if I could ask you, um, you know, I think very often we speak very abstractly about the relationship between art and politics, but I think it's something that for you is very deeply felt and lived uh, in terms of your experience. Um, and I'm wondering if you can speak about the role of an actor, an artist, you know, one hat, and the role of an activist, and whether you see them as, has that evolved, I guess, in your time, in your career, um, with events, you know, in Iran? Um, has, have they seemed in, difficult to reconcile? Have they always seemed to go together? Hi, everyone. I'm very happy to be here on a theater stage with all of you. Yeah, I think at the end of the day, when you're born in the Middle East, you're born in shit. Um, you're born in a geopolitic place where you're attached to your roots that are... It's that evil place on Earth that everything is projected on it. All the world needs it to throw to make guns for it, to make their arms running, to make wars, and you're born in it as an artist, as an actor. Um, I remember when I left Iran, everybody, when I went to LA, everybody was thinking that I'm, I came out of my mother with a headscarf. And I was saying, <laughs> no. And of course, when you're coming from there, it's very hard to break the barriers because you're casted as a terrorist, you're casted as, a, as the villain of this world, no matter how good you can be. So that's why you can see not many breakthroughs from this region into the world. Maybe it was Omar Sharif, and now recently few more, but women, you don't see that breakthrough. It's like, as if like it's a blockage. It, this frontier is around this region, and you're coming with it. It's a, it's a baggage that it's heavy, and no matter what you do, you're carrying it. Like, what I decided to do when I left is that I refused to do any movies related to this subject. Even far, like a Persian speaking, Farsi speaking, for 15 years I haven't done any. I've done witches, I've done New York, Spain, I have, really, I tried to break this frame, but at the end of the day I end up at the same place because it's my, even the, my cut roots, this tree that has no roots anymore because I was cut at the age of 24, so I couldn't be replanted anymore, but these roots are in there. It's as if like, even if they're not attached to me, I'm carrying them and I can't, I can't completely disassociate from it. So yeah, it is always interesting that I'm here as an actress, but the only thing I don't talk about is acting, is, is my passion about this stage, that when I come on it, I was like, I was on it since I was four, because my father was a theater director and screenwriter, and I'm somehow born on it, at this stage. Um, but what to do, what to do, what to do? It is what it is, and I'm here, I, I bring messages, I represent freedom and rebellious and all that. At the, at the same time, I'm, I'm just an actress also, I'm a woman, but I'm attached to all that, and whatever I do, it becomes political. I cannot be just an actress or just a woman. I am, I'm carrying like a baggage with me. It's a, it's a very ironic thing. I barely get to talk about different experiences. Maybe when I do movies with Jim Jarmusch or I don't know, some very specially American blockbusters that have no idea where am I coming from and they don't care. Yeah, we get to talk about other stuff. Otherwise, it's always a package. But I'm, I'm comfortable in it. I'm, I'm very, I found peace in it. I'm fine. You can ask me questions about Iran. I'm fine with it. Well, you've been, I think, especially vocal in the last few months um, since the death of Masa Amini. And also, you know, I, at the opening ceremony, you, I was struck that you, you insisted on calling it a revolution and not a protest movement. Um, something I, that from um, a couple of months ago I wanted to ask you about, you wrote an open letter very powerful open letter, um, it was in the New York Times, and you addressed it to the feminists of the world. Could you talk a little bit about that framing and why you thought it was important to address the letter to feminists? Sure, I wanted to actually, it was written for Michelle Obama and Oprah, uh, because what I realized is that 
the biggest feminists of this world, they were the ones that they were completely absent and silent for 40 or 50 days. And this is what is happening in Iran, is the biggest feminist movement ever happened in the history of humanity. We have never had such movement. We have never had men willing to die for freedom of women. We have never had, so I think 8th of March need to change one day to the day she died because it's much bigger than the cause of 8th of March. So, and it was, it was suffocating because we, were the, we are in front of like a monster that is much bigger than us. It's killing people, it's imprisoning people. And you see, you see that people are not taking position. You see, especially United States is not taking any position. I'm not a politician, I'm an artist, but I, I can realize it as if like they need these evils. They need them in the world. Otherwise, who are they gonna, who are they gonna project their fears and then say there is evil in this world and we need more guns and we are in danger and they are not as if like they're best friends especially when it comes to yes now we need to take actions and the truth is okay let's say now we let them go or we want reform and not the regime change but how can you trust the regime when it's killing children how can you trust the regime that is lying constantly all the time if this regime have nuclear power, if this regime gets to nationalize internet like North Korea, like China, like we are, we are keeping them there and we're not doing anything and the world seems to just function also because it's the Middle East. Middle East is a place where, okay, things are happening, it's banalized, it's normalized. When people dying, thousands of people in the Mediterranean trying to cross the sea, it's normal, they're just a bunch of immigrants from Syria, from like that region, that actually the world made it that region. Again, we're supposed to laugh here now, we, we didn't supposed to go, but any, anyways, when I come, it's always like heavy subjects, and I'm, I really apologize, but yeah, I can talk about it also, because I am from that region, I can openly tell you that. that that's, why, that's why we ask, because we cannot ask politicians directly, but chest to chest, heart to heart, I can ask you to ask your politicians to, to take side, basically. Yeah.